Hey, how's it going guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be unboxing this package that I received from Amazon. As you can tell from the title, this is the Lahit Lab Tefa pen case. And it's just the standard one. It's not like double zippered or you know, it doesn't have three compartments. So I'm gonna open it along this area. Got some bubble in there. I feel that already. Let's go and zoom in. Uh-huh. Okay, so I want to mess up my table. Okay, there we go. We're getting in there. All right, so there's the package so far, and pretty good. Let's take it out. So inside is nothing else. All right, so here's the the general package. The Lahit Lab pencil case. Wow, it's really cool. Just as I thought it would be. Wow. All right. This is the case. Alright, let's get it out of this packaging. It says, okay, what does it say? Wraps. Okay, so this is warning to avoid danger of suffocation. Keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Do not use this bag in cribs, beds, carriages, or play pens. This bag is not a toy. Alright, obviously not. But anyways, uh, so I got this. Wow, this is amazing. It feels really good. It's like, um, what is that material? It's something, I felt this before. I don't know, it's very smooth. It's got this right here, it says design for arrangement. Can I, can I get focus? Okay, there we go. Design for arrangement. Pretty nice. And they, it's got two pockets right here. One right here. Pretty good pocket. And one right there. Put your sticky notes or whatever you want to put in there. Your ID card, earbuds, whatever it may be. Uh, the zippers are pretty smooth, very high quality, very minimalistic, but I like the design, it's amazing. Better than your traditional zipper, really nice. Alright, got two of those, and, um, okay, I think that's about it. You, get, you have this little tag thing sticking out, probably used to hang it in stores, somewhere. Zoom in on that. Okay, so it says something. If I... I was born in Japan, and I learned Japanese, I would certainly know how this would be read, or whatever this would say. So all I could see here is that it's a pen case, it's a book type pen case, it's designed for arrangement, some stuff in there, that's about it, it's made in Myanmar, we'll hit lab, okay, open that up, and we can see oh, how it's supposed to be arranged, okay. It's pretty cool. We got your pens right here, and then this one you got uh, pockets, a deep pocket, and then it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, pen case, got that. Open that up. You've got something like an eraser, your know, lead storage. You've got your flash drive, USB flash drive. You could put that in there. And that pocket right here. Uh, you've got like this mesh pocket and you can put your calculator in there, I believe. Your any of these things from there pretty much. That's pretty cool. Um let's zoom out. Alright. Well, so right away I can see that they got this pretty wrapping paper just protected on the inside. Kinda like a shoe. When you buy it brand new it has this stuff on the inside. That's actually exactly what it feels like. You got that. And inside got this brown interior just like expected same thing here it feels like there's something there it's like being forced or something I don't know what that is it's got like this rigid part right here yeah that adds, adds a lot of strength to it makes it maintain its shape so I got this one this is from five star and I'm not saying this one sucks it's it's okay if you don't have anything to put your pens in if you don't want to get broken or messed up or something like that Okay, so you open that, it's like, you know, one of those standing pen cases. And it works a lot when you're, like, doing some art and you need to, like, grab something and do that, you know. So yeah, that helps. And I notice here on the side it has, like, this pocket to store your, your stuff. You know, I, here I put my, my, uh, my graphite containers, or lead, lead containers. I put them there. Here's the the calculator 
from Casio. This is the FX9750G2. So here on this side, I'm gonna put this in here. Okay. Does it close well? Excellent. It does close very well. And it doesn't well. You can still put the pens in there. Whatever you want. Wow, that's so cool. So so far I've, I've tried to load it up with the things that I use most of the time. And I stocked it up here with my general pens that I tend to use all the time. And over here I've got some, uh, some markers that I tend to use for highlighting and, and labeling some stuff. So that's helpful. Here I've got a, a Prismacolor eraser. And I've got my flash drive from SanDisk. It fits pretty well in there. And then... Alright guys, I'm back with the Lahit Lab Tefa pen case. And after three weeks of use, everything about this is positive. Except for one thing, and I think this is very common with most fabrics, especially around the edges. But um, this one, if you notice on the edges, after storing it in different areas and stuff, these threads are going to start to right appear. So like these right here, those little fuzzy boys. For those that don't have a problem with this, it's totally fine. Like me, I honestly don't care, as long as the rest, the rest of the case is intact. So here I've got some 2x2 two two post-it notes. On the inside I've got all of these pens and stuff. I've got some more things here, inside of the case. And on the other side I've got my USB flash drive. Got that, right? PNY. Here I've got this Prismacolor eraser, the magic eraser, I think, or oh, no, the magic rub. So I've got that one, and here I've got another post-it note pad, post-it note pad, and here I've got a refill for a .7 mechanical pencil, useful as well. Here I've got some scissors from Fiskars sheath. I like. It was very thoughtful to put that there. Considering that some schools are like very sensitive about these kinds of things in your backpack. So having a sheath is like, you know, you can keep it. Here I've got this um, this uh, glue stick with vanishing violets. And I've got this, uh, this set of earbuds right here from AKG. Very nice. And I've got four markers from Crayola's Super Tip line. And they're all very good. And finally I've got this pencil from Royal. That's that's about it for this pen case, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this, leave a suggestion in the comment section and tell me which other pen case you would like me to review. You know, I'll be more than happy to purchase it and review it for you guys. So, till next time, I'll see you then. Goodbye.